Hello guys, welcome back to Electro Horde. I have a new video now for you and if you follow the channel you know that back in the past I released a video about making a, a, a desktop version of a, using a, of a computer, using a palm top computer, the, the HP 200LX. And by the time I could get the printer working, I was using the Citizen PN60 printer. I was able to get the mouse working. I even have a video on the channel. If you haven't watched it already, please do, about how to connect a mouse and to get the mouse working on the, on the 200LX, like this one is working. And I even show you guys how to make the custom uh, serial cable for it and the connector. So here's, here's the problem. If you guys remember last time, I couldn't get the mouse and the printer together, working together because uh, the mouse uses a serial port and the printer also needs a serial port. So the problem was the HP 200LX has, oops, sorry for that, has no, has just a single serial port. So it only, it only got this one serial port. So it can connect two serial devices at once. So I couldn't connect both the mouse and the printer together. And I had to keep switching between the two so I could use the printer or the mouse. I couldn't use both at the same time. And the other day I was searching eBay and I found something that I thought, well, maybe this could work. Maybe I could get this thing working uh, with, with this and I could get both the printer and the mouse working together. And here's, here's what I did. I, I found this card. It's a PCMCIA card and it's a PCMCIA to parallel board card. And this printer also prints by parallel port. So it's got, it, all, it comes with a serial cable and with a parallel cable. So right now, this is the, the parallel cable coming from the printer. You see, this is the cable that's coming from the printer back there. And I thought, well, maybe I could just get this working together. I mean, I could just connect the printer to this, but then would this work with the 200LX? And the answer is yes, I could get it working. Uh, I don't know if you could get any kind of, of, of serial of parallel port card working here, but this one has both DOS and Windows driver is still available online. You can download this driver. It's still, you can find it on forums and even on Quadtech website using the Wayback machine back in 2001, 2002, I guess. And so I found the driver, I found the DOS driver for it. I got it installed on the 200LX. I connected the card to the 200LX. Let's just pop it in here. As you can see, the printer already recognized that something's connected. Uh, and the HP 200 also makes a little beep uh, that it recognized the card. And I managed to get the printer installed, the driver for the PCM CIA card installed, the Windows 3.1, uh, 3.0 to, to install the printer on, on port LPT1. So this is what I want to show you today. So I'll just rearrange the camera so you can better see the, the screen of the 200LX and we'll get a, a test page printer. Now that we have everything connected, let's talk a little bit about the software part. So let's turn on the HP. Uh, I'll just restart it by hitting Control Alt Delete. So you can see what's going on and I'll try to explain briefly what's going on here. So the device is rebooting. And as you can see here, this is the SPP100 driver loaded. Uh, you can download this driver online. This this version that I'm using uh, was made by this guy specifically for the 200LX, but I did try the, the original driver from the, the PCMCIA card manufacturer and it works just fine too. This one has a, a few extra options uh, that you can use, like using both unidirectional and bidirectional communication. And uh, what I did was just 
insert a line on the in the audio exec dot batch, batch file so it will auto load the the spp100 driver that's all that i'm doing here that's the only driver that i have running right now uh, aside from the 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 default drivers that already come loaded uh, on the 200 lx so now let's open up windows by typing win that's windows loading and we'll check if the mouse is working and we'll try to print something okay Let's just, let me just flip the screen colors. There you go, so the mouse works. As you can see, I have a mouse pointer working. Now let's open accessories. Let's go to write, and we'll try to write something here. So, uh, let me just hit enter a few times, and we'll try Let's just type thank you for watching Electro Horde. Uh, where's the exclamation mark? I'm a little far away from the keyboard. Here it is. Okay, so, well, now we have something to try to print and we can finally try to print it. Now, let's just go to File. If we go to Print, you'll see that there's already a printer set up here. Uh, it says IBM Pro Printers because that's the emulation mode that I set for the Citizen PM60 I showed you before on a, on a video that I made earlier on my channel. So it's on LPT1, which is correct. It's our parallel port. And now let's try to get it to print. Okay, so let's hit okay. Let's see if it's if it works. Okay, well, it looks like it's printing. Let's see. Let's wait for it. And there it goes. So here we have our first printing. Thank you for watching Electro Hard. So it does work fine. I mean, it's just amazing, don't you think? I, I don't know why I feel so happy to get this old technology working together. I mean, I'm sure I would be the coolest kid on the block. I mean, the, the coolest kid in the city if I had this setup back when I was much, much younger, back in 1995. Imagine you could just carry a printer in your pocket with a whole computer running Windows 3 and a mouse and you could just write anything you wanted on the go and have it printed like this. I mean, this is just awesome. I've been trying to get this the, the mouse and the printer to work together for quite some time since the last video that I, that I mentioned to you guys, which I just couldn't get both working together because this just feels so, I don't know, so so cool. The, the idea that you could just do whatever you want on a really, really small pocket size computer, XT class computer that you could, that you can run Windows 3 and write anything you want to and then just get it printed on the go with a pocket printer. Uh, like the, the Citizen PN60 that I'm using here. I don't know, it just feels so, so cool. Oh well, guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, I still plan on making much more videos about interesting electron, electronics and mechanical stuff that I have around here. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. And please any, leave any comments down below that you want to. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Bye-bye and see you next time.